Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and welcome to my vlog. So before I jump into today's vlog, um, I just want to share with you guys that I will be in New York City um, on March 16th and 17th. I'm organizing uh, two days headshot photography workshop. So I'm super excited. Um, all the informations are down in the description. Um, also for the next several days, I'm gonna have a special promotion for um, my viewers um, and it's gonna be 10% off. Uh, so the discount code will be also in the description. So hopefully um, I'll see you guys in New York. If you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to email me or message me and I'll be more than happy to answer um, all, your, all your concerns or any questions you might have regarding this workshop. So um, thank you so much and um, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys um, in New York City. So let's jump into uh, today's uh, vlog. Um, so several days ago, I have received couple emails at the same time regarding upset clients. Um, and some of the photographers, um, they were asking how I deal with um, upset clients and what do I do and how do I approach um, those kind of situations. So I wanna dedicate this vlog um, and talk a little bit about this. Um, I've done similar vlog um, several years ago, but I think there's new stuff which I would like to include it. So I think that's a good opportunity to basically talk about it. So um, once in a while we all get upset clients and doesn't matter how good we are um, and how good our, our work is, uh, there's always a situation that there's someone who is unhappy and we have to somehow deal with this. It's not easy. Um, it takes a lot of, um, I would say, preparation and kind of mental approach uh, to this problem because usually our emotions kind of flying high and this is something which I think we have to um, learn and we have to kind of have some kind of recipe how to deal with this. And I, several days ago, actually post some notes uh, regarding uh, that topic. So that might also help you a little bit um, about it. But I want to kind of talk a little bit um, about it today. So the first step is whenever we, and usually what happens we receive um, an email from the client who is not happy so how do we kind of respond to this so the first i would say tip is don't email back because i've learned that people basically read what they want to read and they see what they want to see especially in those kind of situations so most of the time you know they're upset they're angry and and, and they basically you know whatever you, you say they will take their own way so you have to be very very careful with that um, in my case my english is not as good so uh, my writing also might confuse sometimes people and my and basically I might say something which might even trigger this whole thing to another level which might get worse so usually what I'm trying to do is I usually try to talk to people and there's several things behind that the first thing is when you talk to people and that you kind of calm and you kind of trying to understand what happened um, you can really easily um, solve the problems when whenever you email back um, I found that's not makes situation better usually kind of get worse so my preferences is and that's what i would i would say advise you guys uh, try to talk to that person even face to face if, if if there's not possible just call them and try to um kind of figure out what's really going on the next thing what i suggest and this is also what i've learned from some other photographers and then people who are in the business try to don't respond to those kind of situations right away try to um wait a little bit when all this um, i would say craziness kind of comes down and then also your emotions are not flying high so give the person who is upset and and yourself um, a little bit of time to pretty much to calm down um, the emotions because that's usually what kind of makes the situation worse and, and we have to make sure that you know our emotions also are not um, in the kind of position that you know like we cannot really control ourselves and then we are upset as well and that's what 
kind of caused this whole thing um, even more problems. So the next step, next step or next tip, um, this is something what also I, I had to learn uh, because that was something which I had much, much issues. Because usually when you have upset client, we try to tell them and we try to kind of put on them um, that's maybe not their fault, but we try to kind of um, give them you know all the things and we want to tell them everything and we want to tell them it's not our fault and whatever but i think we have to reverse this a little bit because i used to be that way big time i i, I called the person and i was trying to explain them everything you know the, we, we have with the contract and this and that um try to listen this is actually a huge huge tip because sometimes when you listening, um, I think that's also what calms down um, the client because they can kind of relieve their anger. They can kind of, you know, throw everything at you and that helps them to kind of get their emotions to, I would say, the level where, you know, they, they, they more, um, I would say, approachable and then you can just deal with them. So usually what I'm trying to do whenever I, I talk to that upset client, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to hear their side of the story and try to kind of digest and understand um, what's on their mind. This is extremely important. And, and this is something what took me many, many years to learn because you know sometimes our I was I would say photography or our own ego uh, takes over and and we kind of getting um, not only blind but also deaf to the next person and and to to find a solution and to basically understand what's going on we have to learn how to to, to listen so the next time uh, before you jump into conclusions and you jump into some kind of um, finding the solution, try to listen and absorb um, everything what the client um, has to say. So the next thing which I think is extremely important is we have to learn that we cannot take those things personally because that's what um, triggers a lot of those problems. Because sometimes when the um, client says something about the photos, um, I take this personally. It's just like my my, there's their attack on me and um, we have to kind of separate those things because sometimes it, you know the clients it, they try to tell you something or they don't like something about themselves and they kind of put that on the kind of blame that the photos are bad or whatever and we as a photographers take that personally that you know they not attacking the photos they're attacking you and that's something what I also um, had to learn to separate and I had to kind of figure it out that let's look at this entire situation and don't just kind of remove myself from 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 this entire problem and focus on the issue itself and don't take this personally because that's a huge problem um, especially I found photographers have this as I said huge ego when whenever someone says something about his photos uh, says something about you know there's something wrong we automatically take this personally and it's it's, it's it feels like you know the, the client is not even attacking the work it's attacking us personally and that's what kind of causes even more emotions on our side and we're getting more upset um, and we're getting more angry and usually that doesn't really um, help the situation. So another thing what I'm always trying to, to, to do right away when I actually heard a story from the client is to analyze where the problem is because sometimes as you guys probably know there's a little things which can trigger to something much 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 bigger. So um, don't try to kind of assume what is going on. Try to kind of dig a little bit more deeper and ask the client uh, directly where the problem is, what they don't like, what's the issue. Uh, because that usually helps you to kind of figure out what the solution um, might be. If the client is just kind of bouncing off the walls um, and they don't really know what the problem is, they just kind of stating that, well, I don't like the photos just because, um, you have to kind of dig a little bit more deeper and try to kind of break this entire problem um, into small pieces and try to analyze each of them. Uh, sometimes th that takes time, sometimes it's, it's, it's hard, it's not easy, uh, but we have to do it to find um, where the problem is. Um, and the next thing, and this is something very important, this is something what's going to be the, 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 the kind of key component um, of this vlog. So usually what I'm trying to do in those kind of situations, I'm trying to kind of um, 
ask the client what would be the solution because this is actually the the kind of easy way easy way out um, out of this problem because if you kind of tell the client like oh I can't do this I can't do that you know like you basically starting kind of building the wall around you to protect yourself and we have to open up a little bit and we have to ask the client what would be the solution and then when you actually push that on them um, you know that's kind of like it's gonna be much much easier to find a solution for the entire problem because what I've learned if you kind of give them ability to resolve the problem and you put that issue on their hands and they have to kind of um, deal with this just kind of change entire dynamics of the situation because they have to figure this out they have to find a solution and they have to also kind of take in consideration uh, that you've worked for them you you've done the shoot um, and and that's maybe open up a little bit sometimes um, about the the problem itself because another issue what I found in a lot of those cases it's not about your photography it's about the client they have own issues they have own problems and you know maybe this photo shoot was done and in the right time or wasn't done in the kind of the right moment for them um, and and you open up some insecurities for the client um, especially I found in headset photography that's a huge huge problem because you also have to understand that we need to kind of know what's on the other side of the story and i've been in those situations many many times where after a kind of conversation with the client uh, i could understand that it's not about the photos it's about them they they there's things which they don't like about themselves maybe they don't like the situations where I, they, they are they are in um, and that caused this, I would say, negative um, emotions put into those um, images or your pictures or of your work. So you also have to figure out how to kind of like figure this out and, and make sure that, you know, sometimes might be an issue which is kind of not even uh, related to you or your work um, it's about the client itself so the last thing what I want to say there's there's a couple things um, one of those things is you know maybe they're our fault maybe there was something which we've done incorrectly so the one thing what I want to say don't try to defend yourself and um, try to kind of I don't know sugarcoat you know some of your mistakes and stuff like that so you also have to look at your end maybe you've done something wrong maybe you didn't um, kind of meet the expectation of the client and we have to also admit that and I've been in a lot of situation but sometimes again the ego takes over and we think that we don't make mistakes it's the client fault but maybe there is something which um, is on our side which we could do better or we could do kind of you know the way that the client would be more happier so you know sometimes that also helps when we can say look you know I maybe could do this different way or do this better and that also can help the situation to solve it and the last thing is and this is I would say the most important part too is we have to also kind of gain um, what we can lose or what we can gain and what we can lose in this entire situation because sometimes we jump into conclusion fairly quick and we want to burn the bridge we don't want to have nothing to do with the client but I've been in a situation sometimes where the situation was extremely heated um, we couldn't find a solution but someone has to give someone wants to kind of give up someone wants to kind of get something out of this so we need to kind of calculate uh, if this this entire fight or this entire situation is even worth it because sometimes in those kind of situations there might be something positive coming out of this and I've been in this situation and I know if I would just I would say approach the situation different way um, I would lose much more business and the client would be more, would be probably more upset and probably might go into on social media and say something so we also have to kind of figure out where is the balance in this entire thing sometimes you know few few dollars you can kind of give the discount or you can do something extra to 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 make the client happy uh, so we have to figure out um, how we can kind of make this work so at the end of the day you're happy and the client is happy and, and, and hopefully one day um, you guys gonna be able work all over again or the client will recommend you to someone else so I as I said I've been in this situation where it was tough and then you know I kind of give a little bit and then the client was 
even happier and recommend me to someone else and I got more business out of this. So sometimes I, I, I know it's tough when we are right in this situation, is in we are right in the middle of this heat. But after a while, after you know weeks or months or years, we look at those situations completely um, different way. So I hope that it was interesting. Um, I know I was yapping for a long time. Um, this is, I think, very interesting topic, and I think sometimes in those kinds of in, in those kind of situations, we learn also lots about ourselves because I've. As I said, I've learned that sometimes I, 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 I kind of approach those, those, those situations completely um, different, but after I would say learning some of those skills and learning, I, I know how I react to those things and I have to kind of pause for a second, uh, pumps the brakes and say, hey, this is your emotion talking. This is not really who you are. So try to, um, in those kind of also situations, um, kind of look at yourself, how you react to those things and how you approach those problems and how you can kind of solve them. Because, um, you know, this is actually the, 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 the interesting part of the business, I, I think, when you can learn also lots of things about yourself and how you can improve them um, for the next situation, which probably is around the corner anyways. So. Again, I hope that it was interesting. Um, I would definitely would like to hear any informations from you guys. Um, if you guys have any stories you would like to share or anything which could help me also to improve what I do, I would really appreciate it. Um, and um, yeah, thank you for, for watching this long vlog. Um, stay tuned and I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye-bye.